the pulley shown in the figure has a moment of inertia i okay about its axis calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of the two blocks just after the system is released from rest oh sir we have done this this is your typical atwood machine and blah 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 assume that the string is light and does not slip on the pulley now i'll illustrate the difference between old school so what i'll do is on this side on the left side of the screen i will draw what we learned before m1 m2 this is old old string used to be two properties string used to be light and inextensible pulley used to be smooth and light remember so this used to be our a a t t t and t. do you remember this absolutely what happens now the problem with now is this now the pulley still has an inertia now if it has an inertia that's point number 1 and point number 2 the string is light and does not slip on the pulley the moment you say that the moment you say that this is the best part first of all what is the best part sir constraint is more powerful than anything which you have forget about it why will the acceleration be different is the strain extensible big deal so if the acceleration is a or the velocity is v the acceleration is still a and the velocity is still v But the string does not slip on the pulley means what happens? The pulley rotates. If the pulley rotates, all I mean to say is that there will be a alpha or omega of the pulley also. Take your time. And the biggest difference, I still haven't put it yet. But I, I want you to digest this thing first. Can you go left, right, left, right and compare? Old school, new thing. What is the only difference? The only difference is the pulley has inertia now. Point number one. And point number two, the string is light and does not slip on the pulley. In the lecture number one, lecture number one and lecture number two, I explained to the importance of does not slip. I'll explain it again, don't worry. As I said, I still haven't highlighted the most important difference. I will. I'm waiting for a bang. The most important difference, my lord, is... It's no longer T. Things change. T2, T2, T1 and T1. The tension is same in the old case, but it's different in the new one. Take your time. <clears throat> what are we supposed to find? Acceleration. A. Right? Okay. Don't worry. I'll, I'll explain the difference again. Okay, so these people have taken acceleration of of uh, m one more, right? Okay, let the acceleration be a, a, and a. Hmm? I will draw the free body diagram of all of them. Are you ready? Yes, sir. We are ready. Now watch.
You don't need to draw the complete free body diagram of the pulley. I'll tell you why. The good old equation, the good old equation is sir m1 g minus t1 is equal to m1 a. How is this for an equation? Oh, very simple. Okay. t2 minus m2 g is equal to m2 a. How is this for an equation? Oh, that's absolutely simple, sir. F equal to m a on the both the blocks. Correct. What kind of motion is pulley making? Pure rotation motion. Why? It's physically hinged. But sir, you have not drawn, uh, pulley has inertia, yes. That means pulley has mass, yes. But you haven't drawn mg, right. Because what kind of motion is pulley executing? Uh, pure rotation. Torque hinge equal to I hinge alpha. Pure rotation. Okay. And mg is passing through what? The hinge point. That's why its torque is zero. So T1R, the radius of the pulley. Minus T two R is equal to I alpha. Is this equation perfectly correct, sir? Absolutely correct. And since there is no slipping, A is equal to alpha R. So if I put alpha as A by R, T one minus T two times R is equal to I A by R. A is equal to alpha R because of no slipping. Okay. T1 minus T2 is equal to what? Ia by R square. Check out the three boxed equation, please. <clears throat> Take your time. Easy. No rush. So how will you solve it now? Add all three. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait for one full minute. Don't worry. If you do that, your answer is going to be add all of them. If you add all of them, take your time. Do you realize in laws of motion, this the term in the denominator i by r square was not there, except everything else was there. I'm giving you one more minute. Easy. Calm down. <clears throat> and now I'm about to blow your minds. 30 seconds more, 30 seconds more. Can I teach you an ingenious method to solve this question? Let's go.